If you create a Dropbox within My Courses where you need high resolution images, you want to follow this tutorial where a student clicks on a thumbnail image, a small image, and they can view a larger image. Now this larger image is going to show up in something called an overlay. An overlay is not blocked by pop-up blockers because it's be part of the web page. This is also a great method because it doesn't take up a great deal of space in the Dropbox directions prompt and therefore the students can see this very quickly. You want to follow this tutorial fully and don't miss a step and you should also note that this tutorial assumes that you're comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu for help. Now there's three things that um, you should do before we get started on creating your Dropbox. The first one is your images should be prepared. In other words, you should have two images, one that's a small one, one that's larger. The small image should be created in a graphic editor like Photoshop. You shouldn't place it in the HTML editor and resize it. Um, all the images should be uploaded into the course, uh, into the manage file area, and you should put them in folders. And then finally, there is some HTML code that you're going to need, and we're going to get to that in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and create my Dropbox folder, and I'm going to click on the source icon. Let me do that again. Click on the source icon uh, for H the HTML source editor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my code for the begins with iframe and ends with iframe. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard, and I'm going to paste it into the HTML source editor, and I'm going to click Save. I'm now going to click on Insert Image. And again, it's assumed that your images have been uploaded. I'm going to click on Course Offering Files, and I'm going to navigate to where those images are located. And I'm going to click the radio button next to the image that I want, and I've done these well because I called one small, one large, and I'm going to click Add. I'm going to click the checkbox next to this image as decorative, and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on the, on the image itself to select it, and I'm going to click on the Insert quick link. I'm going to click course files and I'm going to navigate to where the larger image is found. In this case that's this one. Now what I want to do is I want to copy onto my clipboard the target equal overlay. So I highlight that and copy that to my clipboard. And I'm going to go back into the HTML source editor and I'm going to find where it says target equals underscore self. And I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to paste in the target equal overlay over top of that. I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to click Save and Close. So now, in order to view this to see that this actually does work, I'm going to go into the preview mode and bring this up. And when a student clicks on this little image, it brings up an overlay and of that image and you can have a very high resolution image that will actually show um, all the details of that image. 